Well, some exciting news this morning. We are waiting for the launch of a SpaceX rocket. You can see it there on your screen. It should be going any minute now. This is from the Vandenberg Air Force Base. A lot of people in California will be able to watch this launch. This is really exciting. Um, it's about 10 seconds out now to launch, and Ooh. this will be the seventh liftoff of the year already for SpaceX. So this is a big accomplishment. This is the third Starlink mission of 2023, uh, and that means Elon. Oh, there it goes. We we can see it right now. Look at that. Pretty spectacular, huh? Oh, absolutely. I love watching this stuff. I'm such a nerd when it comes to space. We all are. It's just so exciting to see, and it's a beautiful, clear day over the water there. So <laughs> apparently, if this all goes according to plan, it's going to come back to Earth in eight and a half minutes after liftoff. Should we stay with it for uh, eight and a half minutes? Yeah, <laughs> riveting television. television. Look at this view. Um, yeah, this is incredible. They must have put some cameras on there. Um, as you said, the seventh launch so far. We love when they launch from California. Um, and it'll be stationed in the Pacific Ocean yeah, as and, well. And it's on record now. SpaceX is on record to break its single year record of 61 orbital launches, which it set last year. So it's continuing to, to make history. It's amazing, right? SpaceX has already launched nearly 3,800 Starlink satellites, which is part of you know this whole program is to make sure that they get uh, more of those constellations into the into the atmosphere. The company has permission to loft about 12,000 of those Starlink satellites and what those are the internet spacecraft. Uh, they've applied now for approval to deploy about 30,000 more on top of that. So this is one of those situations that we're watching right now. We've seen many of them, but we're probably going to see many, many more as they continue to apply for these types of approval. Now, uh, this liftoff number seven, the third Starlink mission, though, of just 2023.